Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. I'm back in the east coast of Canada, specifically Halifax, Nova Scotia. I guess Bears Lake, but nonetheless, guys. So of course, you know, I came to visit my favorite all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant in the world, Mizu, Mizu. So I've been coming to Mizu, both of their original Dartmouth location and in this location for geez, I don't know, six plus years. Um, I love this place, really. It is probably my favorite all time um, spicy salmon sushi roll. And I think I'm my favorite all you can eat ever out of all the ones I've been at. So anyway, let's head inside with one of these food. Uh, it's about $30 here at dinner right now, but I am in the mood for some sashimi. I am in the mood for some rolls. So anyway, let's go have some fun, eat some food. All you can eat sushi. Let's crush this thing. Let's go eat. All right, buddy, so we made it on in. We got ourselves some food. Of course, I got some of my favorites um, to start. I got some sashimi. I was definitely feeling some sashimi. So I got some salmon. We have some white tuna, also known as butterfish. I have some mackerel. I have some crab and I have some uh, sorry, mackerel, and this is snapper, and some snapper there, which is awesome. I ordered some more rolls as well, started with the kind of sashimi, and we're moving into some rolls, etc., etc. Then I have some red tuna sushi, and then I have some avocado sushis or nigiris. And what I like to do with these is I like to take the nigiris and kind of mix them in, like like an avocado with a piece of uh, salmon sashimi, so kind of make like you know a bit of a roll, a little bit of both. Um, I also did get some kimchi. These are an off item menu you have to ask for. And then I also got some garden salads. Um, they have this lovely dressing. I always get it on the side. So we're gonna start into some greens. I guess I got lots of more rolls on the way, guys. I'm starving. It's about like 7.40 p.m. I haven't eaten yet. So let's get started here just momentarily. So I'm pumped. Grab a piece of this crab sashimi. Exactly what you'd expect. But, guys, I need to set an example for our youth. Let's get our veggies first. I'm gonna dump into some of this salad. I love this little dressing they have. It's kind of like a creamy, I'd say it's a mayonnaise and vinegar base. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a coleslaw. But kids, always eat your fruits and vegetables. I got two, you can never have enough. Lovely. Try this kimchi, I like kimchi. Mm. Kimchi, if you're not familiar, it is a um, fermented cabbage. Kind of like a sauerkraut, but it's spicy. Mm. It tastes awesome. Now let's dive on in. We got the mackerel. Just like mackerel. Yeah, feel free. You're not interrupting. Thank you so much. Can I, get, can I get another wasabi and ginger too? Thank you so much. So here we have the mackerel. So the mackerel is, um, it's quite a meaty fish. It's a bit of a fishier tasting fish, if that makes sense. Like this is a stronger flavor compared to like, Butterfish or salmon. Mm. Oh man, mm. a little bit of soy in that wasabi. Mm -hmm. Delectable. Try the butterfish, or this is the you know white tuna they call it, or escar, escarlo, or whatever it is. Mm. Ooh, delectable. That is good. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. That is what I want it right there. Mm -mm. Try the salmon. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Everybody, I have to say, the quality is always on point here, and that's what I love about it. Consistently, quality is great. Oh, there's you know, been some times, admittedly, it's a little better. I've enjoyed it a little more than others, but. I mean, just delectable. And sometimes they cut like the sashimi and the piece a lot bigger than others. It's not massive, massive pieces today, but man, they taste so good. Oh my gosh, that is just, that bite right there. I'm ordering many more of these sashimis. 
And I had, uh, I think I had 25 or 28 pieces on that tray. It's just so fresh. I absolutely love that. I didn't even end up using any of my avocado and nigiris yet, because this is just, I'm ordering more of that right now. That is just freaking awesome. Like, too good, too, too, too good. Man, I love that stuff. All right, put that in. In addition, I have like 50 rolls or something coming. So we should have quite a bit coming now. Red tuna nigiris. So this uh, is only available at dinner time, the red tuna items. So I have the uh, nigiri here, and then additionally I have a red, spicy red tuna roll coming also. Not bad, not bad. I will say, hopefully I get some of those other rolls coming. All right, hopefully got some more rolls coming, some more food, and I'm gonna hold on to these until then. So we got a little bit of the second order um, that you didn't see me put on uh, camera. So definitely running a little slower, but that's totally cool. Hey, it was uh, it's just after dinner time. Um, so this took about 30 minutes. And again, this is a partial. I should have some more uh, sashimi and a couple more rolls coming, um, or they at least gave me half of what I ordered. I ordered uh, two times the spicy salmon roll, two times, sorry, two times spicy salmon roll, two times spicy tuna roll, and I got my two orders of the uh, pink lady roll. This is a crab salad and a smoked salmon on top. So hopefully I get the other these that I ordered. Um, one thing I do love here is the rolls are definitely really large, and usually the portions of fish are pretty good in these. I mean, that's pretty damn good, let's be honest. That is a nice portion of fish. So let's crank into that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just like I remembered. Still, I think my favorite spicy salmon roll, try spicy tuna, very delicious. And the pink lady. Mm. Mm -hmm. There it is, woo! All right, the richness of that crab salad, and then the smokiness of that kind of smoked salmon. Duh, just, it balances. It's such a nice curve. Absolutely love it. I am a big fan of that there. Mm. A big glob of wasabi. Hit with this roll. That combination is so awesome. It is super rich, because you have all the spicy mayonnaise. Of course, you have the soft, tender fish. They do put in avocado, again, super rich. Great mouthfeel. And they put a, uh, like a tempura bit in it, too. Give it a little bit of texture crunch. I saw some more rolls go by. I was hoping those were ours. But as they're not, I'm definitely going to have to put in that next order them. Let me know if you like smoked salmon down below. I am a big smoked salmon fan. When you have it like this, So shout out the size of these rolls. They do a good size roll here. All right, I'm gonna assume I'm not gonna get the rest of that order. So I'm just gonna order more. All right, cool. So we actually got our third order then, um, which just arrived, which is super cool. So I got a, a big tray, I will say too. So we got all my uh, salmon uh, sashimi, I have my white tuna sashimi, I have my snapper sashimi, should be 10 of each. And then I think they, I got an extra five uh, salmon, so I think they kind of maybe combined it, so 15. Then I have a three spicy crab nigiri, 
and I have three spicy salmon nigiri over here. So I have that other order all prepped. The one thing I am gonna test before, before I send that order in is, let's see how what this spicy salmon nigiri is like. Sometimes this is just absolute fire. What I do love is they do use a like actual chunk of salmon. Like some places use like a minced. I'm not a big fan of that. So they use the real chunks here. Mm, so good. One thing I will say, there's a lot of like the mayo on that. But man, that is so delectable, guys. So rich. Mm. Just that salmon. It's so good. So fresh. These pieces are actually even bigger. These pieces of sashimi. Man, they are absolute fire. Mm. That is like the best thing ever. Man, it doesn't get better than that. Maybe that's like more specifically what I love so much about this place. They just have the absolute freaking best like salmon dishes. It is just so far. They actually gave me way more salmon than I, they, I actually had 20 on here. I thought I had like 10 to 15. Another, uh, what do you call it, white tuna? slash butterfish, slash whatever. It's good, but that's a little colder. Um, I'm not a fan of cold fish. I very much like a room temperature. And that's what like, sushi fish is supposed to be like. It's not supposed to be like cold. But I'm gonna, now that about this lovely, lovely, lovely sashimi, let's bust and use these avocado and nigiris, which have been patiently waiting here so nicely. Grab one of those. Grab one of these. And it's like you're creating like an oversized maki roll. You know, like a salmon avocado roll. Grab a great glob of wasabi. Grab that thing. Actually, here we are, guys. We're refilling the, the dish. So that is our first bottle of soy. All in the container. All right, that is a very soy soaked bit. Grab a lovely piece of sashimi, look at that. That right there is just like, oops, and oversized but falling apart. Salmon avocado roll. Woo! I tell you guys, the amount of wasabi I eat, you have to clear your sinuses out. I will say though, some people don't even like wasabi. Let me know down below if you like wasabi or not. Also, you can take a little bit of this ginger. I understand it's like a palate cleanser, but sometimes just that little bit of extra flavor on my incredibly fat, huge, self-made salmon avocado rolls. It's such a great dynamic. But man, we had a lot of fish on this plate. And these slices, I'm gonna try to show you this. this is, these ones are real thick. Three C's. So we still got on here the snapper, some salmon, and we did get some rolls here. Both the lovely fat, 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 spicy salmon maki. I don't know what it is about that roll. Man, that, that, that roll just speaks to me. And I got this one with the uh, the red tuna also. These ones have a good portion of red tuna in them too. Mm. 
which is very good. Snapper's good. Everybody, there's a lot of salmon here. This is amazing. I'm impressed. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so I see what happened here. This was actually the other half of our second order, which we thought we weren't gonna get, because all the spicy salmon and pink lady rolls that I ordered on my, I don't know, fourth-ish roll or whatever, just arrived. And that is a lot. Plus I have some uh, sashimi, some more lovely looking um, spicy, or yeah, spicy salmon sushis as well. So this is what we're working with. I have a freaking absolute load of rolls here. I don't even know how many we got here. Um, 18, 30, 30 rolls here. Looking good. Plus these ones. Plus the last sashimi and spicy salmon sushis that I ordered. And with that, we're gonna need some more wasabi here, everybody. I went through it, this massive dish again. But I love this stuff. It just, it just... Such a nice addition. And of course, you know, what you get at most sushi restaurants and are more are standard in North America, actually, is, you know, the wasabi, which is mostly horseradish. But I love it. Great flavor. Just such a nice bite, dynamic. And I appreciate the amount of tuna I'm putting in these, in the, in these ones here they did. Pink lady roll. Mm. Mm. Grabbing smoked salmon. If you can't tell, I've kind of identified some of my favorites. Maybe I'll try a couple different items here in a minute. But I mean, when you find something good, it's hard not to go back to it. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit here. I'll get some fruit rolls. I love fruit rolls. A lot of people haven't had fruit rolls though. Let me know if you had a fruit roll. These are good. It's almost like dessert. Man, these are fire. And thick. Wow. There we go, guys. Back with a full thing of wasabi. Now I can resume my intense wasabi consumption. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. One thing's for sure, in the restaurant, it's definitely slowed down a bit. That last order came very quickly. I think we're in the mood for something else. 
Woo. What else do I have, have that I really, really like here is a uh, peanut roll, a peanut avocado roll. Again, it's like honey roasted peanuts, almond like dessert. I think my body needs a break from the wasabi though. It's like, Joel, what are you doing? You just ate like a ball of it the size of my fist. It's making my sinuses run, that's for sure. Grab one of these spicy salmon sushis right here. A lot of mayo on those ones, that's for sure. But I'm gonna deck it with an extra sashimi, a little bit of soy. What can I say? That's pretty damn good. I'm still gonna use the wasabi. I'll just use slightly more moderate pieces. Well, I'm gonna grab some hot water. Let's have a look at the menu here. It is an iPad menu ordering system, which is nice. And I'll tell you one thing. Guess if you know my favorite kind of roll down below. It's not obvious, you haven't really been watching the video. That one was huge. That's what Joel said. No, she didn't say, wow. That's what Joel said right now. To change things up, I actually, you know, I, we had so many rolls. I, I'm, I'm feeling a little cold, believe it or not. It's getting a little cold out. So I ordered two miso soups. Not something I normally do, but I mean, hey, I like them. They are delicious. I also grabbed an edamame, give something a little different. I ordered some more rolls, um, like a um, some of the fruit rolls that I like, the peanut avocado roll that I like. And I also ordered some other items that I never, ever, ever order. So normally when I'm here, I don't order kind of non-sushi items. But one thing I did want to try, because it's been on a real kick, they have a couple like Thai items on the menu. And guys, I've been loving Thai food. Thai food is great. And specifically the curry. And they got a red curry on the menu here. Like a Thai style red curry. So I ordered one of those. And I ordered one of the like, um, these like a teriyaki or tapenaki kind of beef, beef little rib. So I that. Here's a curry, looking pretty good. Chicken curry, red curry. Actually looks surprisingly nice. Nice, uh, nice vegetables in there. I'm excited to try that. Let's try this miso soup. I think the best way to do it is just like, not bad. It tastes like miso soup, let's be honest but it is warm and I'm cold. Let's try this red chicken curry. I see some, mm, okay, al dente vegetable. Definitely get kind of that like Thai kind of basil and their curry flavor in there. It's not bad. I'd say like, so the flavor's nice, but you can tell that I think like, it's not like it was cooked in the curry sauce, you know what I mean? So the vegetables were obviously kind of just deep, you know, stir fried or whatever, and then they just put the curry sauce on top. So not bad, but I mean, it's not a Thai food restaurant, we'll put it that way. Here's my fruit rolls and my Peanut rolls. So, peanut rolls, again, something a lot of people have not had. I really like it though. Honey roasted peanuts, avocado. It's really nice and sweet. It's rich. A little bit of salt is a nice addition. Dipping that soy, you know I love my soy. And then these fruit rolls are awesome. They got a strawberry banana and a strawberry mango. They also do put a tempura bit in it like that. Oh, thank you so much, appreciate it. And then the, uh, they also put a bit of this kind of sweet 
syrup on top. You can kind of see it there. It's almost like honey. I don't know if it is honey or not. And then there's these beef ribs I was talking about. The, well, I'll show you better. The teppanaki or ten, to, yeah, teppanaki. That's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and or kind of, I don't know if it's also technically considered teriyaki, but I'll try it. It's hot. Mm. Tender short rib, good bite. That was surprisingly good though. Not some of my normal order, but maybe I'd order more of those. It was very good. Let's try this, uh, these rolls here. I'll do the mango strawberry. The sweet syrup on it really brings that sweetness. The mango's not overly ripe. In fact, I'd say it's not a very ripe mango. So it gives you that like almost like bitter, kind of green mango flavor, which is actually pretty good. Try the one with the banana. Definitely a bit sweeter. And the peanut avocado roll. Like I said, honey roasted peanuts. Mm. Oh yeah. Delicious. But you don't need too many of those. They are rich. And it's a different kind of sweet than like the fruit roll with kind of that syrup on top. It's like a honey roasted peanut sweet. What do you expect? All you sushi restaurants out there, take note. I think this is actually the only place I've ever seen it like that. I got some more of my lovely salmon sashimi. We kind of had to do full circle. I just loved it that much at the start. I did get a couple more of these these uh, short ribs. Actually, I gotta say they were they were really really good. They were you know they're nice and juicy, nice and moist. And I did order a couple more rolls. I think I ordered a spicy salmon roll, a spicy tuna roll. Kind of going full circle. And we kind of had like we went away from the dessert, went away from the fishiness. Now we're kind of coming back. But besides that, that might have been it. Which I, I don't know, I could probably order a couple more, maybe a couple more like desserty rolls. Mm. Oh yeah. Every time. And then with that being said, of course, if we want ice cream or pudding or whatever, we just have to ask. But check this out. I will say I've never been here this late before. We've been here for about an uh, hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. But that sashimi came in like 30 seconds. Diving these little short ribs again. I actually really enjoyed these. I mean, it's covered in like a, you know, sticky, sugary sauce, very well oiled, very fatty. Mm. I mean, let's be honest. What's not to love? Mm. Soft, tender, succulent beef. Beautiful. I mean, not something normally, normally order, but it is good. And now our rolls arrive. Ooh, man, those are greasy. Those are rich. A oh, last orders? Okay. What what time? Do, what time's the last order at? Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Okay. So I better do that quick. There you go, guys. Last order at nine twenty. So we got ten minutes. Better do that quickly. Uh, but yeah, here we go. I got the uh, red tuna. Huge portion in that one. Then the spicy salmon. And the peanut roll. Mm. All right, let's deck these and figure out what, if anything else, we're gonna have.
Great size in the tune roll, though. I'll tell you one thing, I was cold, now I'm hot. There's hot foods plus all this food is kicking in. My battery is officially red. All right, in the middle of the menu, I'll decide what else. I'm gonna order, not too much more. We'll get ordered in just in time, and I'll be it. Let's be honest, I didn't need to order this. I didn't need to order three, I ordered three different rolls. I probably should've just done one or two, maybe none. We ate a lot of food, everybody, but I got a mango banana roll, so I did get a different, a different fruit roll here. I got a uh, spicy salmon roll, one of my favorites, and then another peanut roll. So it's really digging the peanut roll. But I have a feeling by the time I finish this, I'm gonna be very, very full. And we are in that flashing red battery. So, let's we'll see what happens. I'll try to finish though. The only one we haven't tried is the uh, mango banana roll, so I'll eat that. Not bad. Mm. Actually, I'm enjoying that. That sweetness is nice. Yeah, we ordered a lot. I also, uh, we also, we lost the iPad, so we won't be able to do a, a complete count of actually how many we had, but if anybody has a rough guess, comment down below. I'm gonna guess we're upwards of 200. Because I think of at least two orders where I had about 50. So I've about 200. A lot of pieces of sushi. All right, everybody, well, we're coming in. That was great, always is. But you know that tipping point? I didn't need that, I didn't need three last rolls. Two last rolls would be great. Uh, last third one, whoo, kind of pushed me over the edge. Let me, I love hearing your stories. Let me know a story where you ate just a little bit too much or something just put you over the edge. Whew. But that, my battery, my battery last one, which is cool. But as always, huge thanks to all the staff here. Everybody here at Mizu is great. I've been coming here for years, they love it. They don't sponsor me, I've paid every time to come. I've given this restaurant thousands of dollars over the years. And for the staff, the quality, I have no complaints. Really appreciate them here. So that everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, the next time I have you, I'll be hungry, happy eating. Again, I don't have an exact count, but we lost the iPads because they're closing, but I'm gonna guess about 200, crazy. Definitely got our money's worth, that's for sure. 
and cost was $29 before taxes, before tip. But uh, the staff's great here, so. And everybody, like I said, that's about it. We've had a lot of sushi, definitely. Let me know your favorite down below. I don't even need to say mine, but woo, I need a nap. Luckily, I can just go home and go to bed and it's actually half considered reasonable timing. So, appreciate you guys. That's it. We ate a lot of sushi. I had my fill. So until next time, everybody. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. Happy, healthy, hungry. Happy eating, of course. Until next time, have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.